Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India coming towards the uh, end uh, part of this uh, particular uh, course uh, leadership and team effectiveness. So, finally, we talk about this uh, that is the whenever leader is setting the goals right and uh, uh, then working with the team and uh, then it, there should be the constructive feedback is to be there. So, that if any corrective actions are to be taken. So, again there will be the setting of goals. So, uh, then action and then feedback and then corrective actions will be there. So, this will be the process how this process works that we will be discussing today. So, setting the goals a specific and observable uh, attainable but challenging goals commitment and the feedback is there. Uh, here are some uh, examples uh, of the uh, real time has been taken that is a Ratan Tata's goal uh, related to the Tata Nano car then the constructive feedback and what are the essential elements six elements of the constructive feedback is there. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, what is expected from the leader uh, that is the and the team members listen before the giving feedback and responses type for the feedback we will talking about. And as usual we will talk about the research paper case studies and the book recommendations with the references is there. So, then uh, definitely this is a first quote that is when a man does not know what harbor is making for and no wind is the right wind is there then uh, how we will get uh, the results and therefore, in that case uh, it is very very important that is if whatever the efforts are made the efforts are made into the right directions are there. Uh, for this purpose the setting goals um, the in developing plans of action uh, there are the important for individual and for the groups is there. As we know that is the whole organization is working for a particular vision and that a uh, vision has to be matched with the uh, objectives, then the goals, then the strategies, policies, procedures, rules. So, therefore, uh, in that case uh, uh, that uh, direction, direction is provided by that particular vision statement of the organization and when this uh, vision statement uh, is, uh, uh, is having the uh, uh, matching with the goals right. So, therefore, the leaders important uh, uh, the job becomes that is the setting the goals uh, and then accordingly the plan uh, uh, to attend them uh, so that the uh, ultimately objective of the formation of the team is achieved. Uh, whenever the team members uh, are uh, uh, accomplishing a personal or group goal is also important is there because unless and until any individual or employee when he does not uh, find any matching with his personal goals with the organizational goals then he will not continue in the organization for a long time. So, it is very necessary that is the all uh, uh, the individual goals, team goals, organizational goals that all they, they should be having the common share of the goals are there. And then uh, each and every member of the team is working with, uh, with this particular understanding that is the when he is helping to achieve the organizational goals simultaneously he is able to achieve achieve his own goals also. So, these are setting team goals should be the inclusive process. Uh, now, now many times it has been seen that is the earlier the leaders were feeling that is it is the responsibility of the leader to set uh, setting of the goals is there. But now we see that is the it is the inclusive process is there and whenever we are talking about the inclusive process it means that that is the all members opinion is taken into consideration and then the uh, ultimately responsibility of the fixing of the goals will be remain with the leader is there. But whatever goal will be uh, uh, decided by the leader that goal will be with the uh, mutual consent of the each and every member will be there. Whenever any goal which is decided with the inclusive process that will definitely help uh, uh, in, in, in the minimizing the conflict and maximizing the team effectiveness. Now, here when uh, the goals so they, their goals are to be very specific, observable, realistic and achievable. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, when this inclusive process uh, is carried by the leader, leader should be very careful. 
he should find out that is the on basis of his experience, he should be able to uh, identify that whatever the goals are to be decided, what will be the strengths and weaknesses of that particular goal is there and whether they are really achievable or they are not achievable is there. Now, the goals can be verifiable and non verifiable also and therefore, that uh, a leader should take this responsibility for the verifying the goals are there. Now, uh, here again the, the question will arise that is the uh, how this process of the fixing up goal is to be carried on, now, is there should be any time limit is to be there. And uh, then if the time limit is there, then what, what will be the time limit uh, uh, for these accomplishing these particular goals are there. So, naturally we, we have discussed the number of cases and there we have found that is the any project will be accomplished and, uh, by the given quality, time and cost is there. So, every goal is also associated with this uh, quality, time and cost. So, very uh, uh, clear uh, that uh, roadmap has to be designed by these uh, leaders. So, that uh, uh, that uh, the milestones, milestones of this, this road map uh, that can be achieved timely, uh, the, the each member he knows that is the what is the time limit for achieving their particular goal is there. Now, um, the uh, very interesting case study uh, is taken that is the case of the Tata Nano is taken and then uh, uh, you see that is the it is the uh, not only the uh, a, a commercial project actually it is a fulfillment of the dream and the dream was the one lakh car that uh, uh, that drive the one billion dreams. So, therefore, in that in that case uh, it, it is becoming very very important that is the when we are having the goal fixation exercise uh, then how you will ensure that is your goal is uh, having that particular quality and that particular uh, achievement uh, which the organization is looking for and for that purpose there should be the idea generation and therefore, uh, uh, the for any any goal right which you fix there there should be having the dream is to be there and when there is a dream and then uh, to chase that particular dream the uh, the employees or team members they will make their 100 percent efforts. So, therefore, it is the riding around on scooters with kids standing up and the mother carrying a baby and sitting pillion and decided to do something about it. It started as a quest for an affordable transportation solution is there. The goal for the Tata Nano was to sell the world's cheapest car without compromising on safety, quality and environment is there. So, these were the parameters, these were the dimensions on basis of this dimension uh, this was decided that is the, uh, the whatever the product will be developed that that has to be very safe uh, and uh, it uh, 1 lakh rupees mean does not mean that is we, uh, the any compromise in the quality is to be done. And uh, the, the another uh, factor which has been very clearly mentioned was that is about the environment. So, it should be the environment friendly, it, it should not be that is the uh, when you are reducing the cost of the car and then it, it is becoming the hazardous to the environment. So, goal should be in, in that case uh, as I mentioned that is uh, attainable, uh, but uh, yes uh, attainable it does not mean that is the uh, they, they are sort of the just uh, uh, a formality or the loyalty or they must pass as it, it should be a break with their ideal or reflect insufficient motivation, it should break their insufficient motivation is there. So, that on, uh, this ins, insufficient motivation will be uh, to break it is required that it should be challenging otherwise there will be no movement. So, if any but the loftiest goal were set yet to be useful goal must be realistic and the, the, the corollary to the preceding point is that, that a goal should also be challenging. So, unless and until the goal uh, is not challenging uh, then, then there will be not much efforts will be made. If uh, this is the nat uh, human nature that is uh, if uh, anybody finds it is a goal is easily achievable uh, then the naturally uh, that uh, the person uh, will be relaxed and therefore, in that case uh, the quality may be get affected. So, therefore, it, it is very much important that is the person should be motivated, motivated by that particular challenge. It does not result in the high levels of performance, uh, uh, high level of performance come about when goals stretch and inspire people towards doing more than they thought they could is there. So, only uh, that fixing of the goal is not that, that is that will be the very highly uh, uh, performance oriented. So, for that 
purpose it is necessary that is the uh, they, they will require that is the uh, they could have uh, uh, stretched themselves to achieve that particular goal is there. So, the, uh, it is always said uh, uh, that is the uh, uh, not low, low uh, aim uh, one should keep uh, always it should keep the very high aims is there. And now in this particular case study we see that is the to make the cheapest car in the world and uh, the developers had to do lot of innovations while considering to keep the car have the five uh, people uh, capacity is there and uh, uh, R&D team did many innovations for the car like two piston engines for call, car and uh, uh, wheel drive with the real replacement of the engine. This is about that particular case studies and minimum possible cost was the uh, real challenge was there. And now the we we have talked about the leadership and em employee commitment and employee engagement, uh, right? So therefore, in that case, uh, whenever any goal is decided, and when it is a challenging uh, goal, as we have discussed, that is the goal has to be the challenging. Then in that case, the very high commitment of the employees is required. Uh, if the employees are not having uh, uh, that hundred percent commitment to for their goal achievement, then many times the uh, we find that is the projects are failed. So there is nothing magical about having goals, uh, and uh, they, therefore uh, uh, many people you will find that is they are appearing uh, in a very competitive examinations, but they are not successful because just appearing in the examination will not be enough. So similarly, so only fixation of the goal that does not give the guarantee of this success. So, it is has to be uh, real human commitment and that commitment by these uh, uh, team members specially uh, that, 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 that will lead uh, uh, for the that uh, path of success. So, goal statements are uh, uh, just uh, mere uh, words uh, and many times we find that is uh, we visit the organizations and there are the statements are there and when we interact with the organizations then we find that is no that there is no match between those words which you have written on these uh, uh, vision mission statements and uh, what exactly the employees are doing. So, therefore, top leadership needs to make clear that is willing to put its uh, money in goal and therefore, in that case that is the investment and it is not only the case of the money, it is also the case of the emotions. So, whenever the leader is fixing any particular goal as we have seen in the case of the uh, uh, nano car, that is it, it was not the question of the investment of money. But it was the question of the dream achievement by uh, Mr. Ratan Tata for the creation of a such a car which will be useful for the uh, uh, this typical size and the class of the families. When top leadership sets goal, it, it uh, always it should be provided with the right directions and therefore, in that case whenever the right directions are provided uh, and uh, uh, we, we, with the help of the uh, concerning the all the members are the project managers, project team is there and then definitely we will find that is the, the commitment of the employees uh, uh, that, uh, that has made this particular project successful. So, first they have set up the plant in Singur, West Bengal, but the project faced massive opposition from the displaced farmers. So, therefore, uh, then political support by West Bengal's then opposition party, Trinamool Congress and various environmental activists, uh, uh, they were involved to uh, and as a result of which uh, just before the launch, uh, they were compelled to close the plant and Ratan Tata blamed agitation by that uh, uh, time of the chief minister and uh, the supporters for the pull out the decisions is there. But the group remained committed to the attaining the goal and decided to shift the plan to uh, uh, Sanan the Gujarat after a warm welcome from the uh, CM of the Gujarat uh, that time of CM that is uh, Narendra Modi is there. So, it took 14 months to build a new factory in Sanan the Gujarat compared to uh, 28 months for, for the old single factory is there. right? So, therefore, this particular uh, uh, that commitment uh, which was uh, that is yes this car is to be manufactured by these uh, Tata group and under the dynamic leadership of uh, Mr. Ratan Tata. So, therefore, one of the most effective ways to improve any kind of performance is to provide feedback about how closely a person's behavior matches some criteria. And the research shows that performance is much higher uh, when goals are accompanied by the feedback than when either goals or feedbacks are used alone. So, therefore, uh, this is the uh, uh, always a continuous improvement process. 
and when our behavior is matching some criteria, so then definitely in that case uh, the goals are accompanied by this particular feedback. And goals that are specific, observable and time limited are uh, conducive to ongoing assessment and performance based feedback is there. And therefore, in that case uh, these uh, leaders uh, and the followers uh, should strive to provide and uh, seek the regular feedback is there. And uh, when you are having the continuous uh, constructive feedback, then as a result of which uh, the leader has a vision to uh, on the basis of the feedback uh, if uh, there is any amendment is to be taken or any uh, changes are to be made. So, in case the feedback regarding goals are not taken care of that this wasting effect will be there and because uh, you see that is uh, many times uh, uh, for example, I was mentioning the parameters of the time, cost and quality is there and uh, if the, there is an alarming situation where the cost is to be increased then, then uh, if the debt feedback is not noticed then we can see that is uh, what happens to the project and uh, we already know many projects because uh, that whatever the feedback was uh, coming that was ignored and, and uh, as a result of which uh, the project is half done and it is not completed. So, it becomes very, very important that is the um, before we go to the complete failure of any particular project, it is better that is the we understand that is the what are the reasons are there uh, for um, with which uh, we can take the corrective actions. So, these uh, then there were the feedback ignorance, uh, then there were the fire issues in uh, uh, Tata Nano and then there were unsafe perceptions first there and therefore, the ignorance of the marketing feedback was done. So, therefore, in that case uh, it is the uh, that image building of this particular uh, case uh, that has been uh, the considered. Now, so therefore, what is important is that is the constructive feedback is important. So, feedback is information about the reactions to a product or a person's performance of a task which may be used used as a basis for improvement is there. Uh, so, we, we were talking uh, since beginning itself that is there, uh, it is about the corrective actions and in the corrective actions uh, uh, then that is the performance uh, that has to be used as a basis for improvement. So, constructive feedback is meant to help improve the performance of an individual or a team and it should not be used to tear them down is there. Uh, now, no, it is to be understood, there is a difference between the uh, criticism and constructive feedback is there. So, whenever we are talking about the constructive feedback then, then then it has been communicated it has been understood uh, and uh, it has been implemented in such a way so therefore the team is not let down. So, therefore in that case uh, uh, the the, uh, the team members and leaders they all should be very careful while interacting with each other that they do not criticize rather than they go for the constructive feedback is there. So, sharing information or perceptions with the another about the nature, quality or impact of that person's behavior and getting helpful feedback is essential to a subordinate's performance and development is there. Similarly, the when the when the uh, team members are giving the feedback to the leader, so leader will take the corrective action, uh, the uh, leader will also give the feedback to the, uh, the team members and therefore, their performance uh, where they are required to develop uh, then essential steps will be taken. So, without feedback a subordinate will not be able to tell whether uh, he or she is doing a good job or whether her uh, or his uh, business is turning people off and hurting her chances for the promotion is there. So, naturally many times uh, uh, it has been seen in the organizations uh, that is for the you know, Career planning is concerned, uh, promotion is concerned, transfer is concerned, and then in 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 that case, uh, uh, the boss has not uh, any communicated anything to the subordinate, and uh, then the, the, the his decisions are coming as a surprise to the subordinate is there. So why it is uh, happened? It is happened because that is the the uh, superior he has not uh, uh, given the any hint or we can say the feedback in this context to the uh, subordinate that is the the way he is working uh, uh, that is required to be changed or their improvements are required. So, uh, keeping in mind uh, this type of these uh, uh, motivation and demotivation both in the presence and absence of the constructive feedback, uh, the, these six elements of, uh, are to be taken into the notice. The first one is the helpful is there. So, a very good example is given, I got better scores when I was going through this program when you just did and this seems to be a difficult area for you, what can I do to help you master it better and therefore, in that case uh, you will find it is a uh, approach and that approach is to helping others and therefore, in that case uh, uh, we have given the feedback also 
right and simultaneously we have communicated that is to improve your performance how I can be helpful to you. Then the direct is uh, another element the, it is important that we all uh, speak loud enough to be heard in meetings is there. So, we should be able to put our points uh, very strongly and I had a difficult time hearing you in the meeting because you were speaking in such a soft voice. So, therefore, in that case uh, 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 it is a direct feed, constructive feedback is there which is to be told so many times uh, that is a team members or the leaders uh, and their voice is so low uh, therefore, in that case uh, uh, the, the message is not properly communicated. Uh, so, uh, and especially in the case of the meetings are concerned uh, be specific since you come to work for us your work has been good. Uh, I really like the initiative and resourcefulness you showed in solving our scheduling problem is there and therefore, we can find that is the uh, it is becoming a very very important that is the how specifically uh, you you give a message. So, therefore, there is no doubt about uh, that is the how the person uh, uh, will be uh, 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 working and uh, uh, taking the actions. Uh, um, now, the descriptive type of the element uh, in the constructive feedback is that I am getting tired of uh, your uh, rudeness and disinterest when others are talking. Uh, so, you were not looking at anyone else when they were talking which gave the impression you were bored is that how you were feeling. So, therefore, in that case the message is given. But, but the way the message is given uh, in spite of that criticism that is the you were lo lo looking to the uh, rudeness and the disinterested it is the it seems that you were bored and that uh, how we, um, and if that was that uh, how you were feeling. Now, the, uh, another important point is this that is the before, before it becomes too late it is better that is a timely, timely uh, we are giving uh, that particular constructive feedback is there. So, Mr. J I think I need to tell you about an impression you made on me in the staff meeting last month right. Uh, Joe do you have a minute I was confused by something you said in the meeting this morning is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, you see that is uh, if uh, uh, we, we are giving the constructive feedback and then in that case you are protecting the the ego of the other person also and when you protect the ego of the uh, other person and then the things will be more clarified and the team building will not be affected. Uh, and the last element of the constructive feedback is that is about the flexible. So, although feedback is best when it is timely so, uh, some, uh, and sometimes waiting is preferable instead of giving feedback at the earliest opportunity. So, many times uh, you have to also see that is what is a time, what is uh, what is a place and uh, what is the uh, manner of uh, communicating that con constructive feedback is there. So, therefore, you, you have to be flexible you should not be that direct uh, that is uh, immediately you are giving the feedback is there. So, therefore, in that case when we, we take care of the six elements of the constructive feedback then definitely in that case uh, that feelings emotions of your team members uh, that will be strong and they will be having uh, that um, better understanding. Now, we will talk about the role of listening before giving the feedback is there and then the systems view of communication emphasize that effectiveness depends on both transmitting and receiving information. It is not only the one way that is a transmitting and then you are not sure that is the, in the other person has received the information or not because in the communication process we know that is a sender receiver and the feedback is there. So, therefore, in that case it is a receiving the information is not done then it will be very difficult. Listening to uh, either before expressing one's a feedback to others is there and therefore, uh, many people are very fast in fast giving the feedback, uh, but uh, what is important is let us uh, uh, have some patience and listens to the another person um, might be that our feedback uh, uh, is a uh, different uh, dimension as compared to the what is the reality is. So, people in leadership roles are only as good as the information they have and much of their information comes from the watching and listening to what goes on around them is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, it is important that is the whatever the information right. So, therefore, uh, they, that has to be more uh, uh, the uh, correct uh, and then then uh, in, uh, that is the uh, leader should be also very careful in the watching and listening to uh, others. Now, attend to the sender's non-verbal behavior. Um, uh, we have talked in communication earlier that is uh, there can be the verbal uh, message there can be the non-verbal messages there. So, much of the social meaning in message is conveyed non-verbally and when verbal and non-verbal signals conflict 
people often tend to trust the non-verbal signals, uh, signals are there. So, therefore, always uh, your body language, your tone, uh, pitch, voice uh, uh, and uh, your uh, uh, the, the, the way uh, uh, your uh, uh, the kinesics is there, uh, body language is there and then accordingly uh, the person will receive your feedback rather than uh, uh, verbally you might be saying that is uh, I trust. But if your body language is this, that is whatever you are saying and whatever you have in your mind is not matching, then the person will have the doubt. So, role of listening before uh, giving in the feedback is important when the demonstrate non-verbally that you are listening is there. Make sure your non-verbal behavior shows that you have turned your attention entirely to the speaker is there. So, put aside both mentally and physically other work they may have been the engaged in. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, th th that is why many times you find in the meetings uh, and we have taken the examples also in the previous slide that is the whenever the leader finds that is the uh, the member, member is was not uh, taking the interest and then in that case uh, the way he is communicates that becomes the very, very important. So, it is possible that is the mentally or physically uh, your team member that he requires a different suggestions. So, therefore, in that case uh, that, that, that they, they should be engaged in communicating the, uh, the appropri appropriateness of the message. Message. Uh, actually interpret the sender's message. So, the essence of active listening is trying to understand what the sender means. So, we need to keep our minds open to the sender's ideas. So, good listeners withhold a judgment about the sender's ideas until uh, they have heard the entire message is there. So, this is uh, many times uh, has been seen practically that is the uh, those who are the good listeners are there. So, therefore, they, they, they do not give the immediate judgment, they think about it, they learn they understand that is the what is the message behind what has been told and what has not been told. So, they have heard the entire message and this way they avoid sending the message that their minds are made up of and avoid. So, jumping to the conclusions about what the sender is going to say. So, many times even the people are not allowing to complete your sentence or the what the leader wants to talk because they, they are having certain perceptions and biasness and as a result of which uh, they jump to the conclusion. So, the, that is to be avoided. Use paraphrasing words for ensuring mutual understanding. I am for example is given uh, I am not sure I understand what you mean is it right. So, do you mean? So, what I hear you saying is it seems you from your point of view as you see you appear to be feeling you think correct me if I am wrong, but I get the impression. So, therefore, in that case you you find that is the, these are the ways where you can communicate and when you communicate uh, like this uh, with these uh, uh, sentences, then definitely in that case it will be creating a different uh, impression is there. So, make sure that is the whenever you are having the uh, this type of these uh, communication, uh, you have to ensure that is the you are using the paraphrasing words. Uh, uh, so, that uh, the, the mutual understanding between that uh, uh, the sender and receiver, it, it does not disturb and then the both are able to maintain uh, that uh, understanding is there and uh, uh, the, this art particular art uh, that will that will build a better relationship among the uh, um, team also among the team members also and between the uh, team members and the leader also. Many times it has been seen that is the people become defensive right because they, that uh, if the constructive feedback is in the form of uh, uh, these criticism then definitely in that case the people find that is the uh, somebody is attacking. So, defensive behavior is more likely to occur when someone feels threatened that is the the message which has been given to him uh, that, that, that says about that is if you will not improve then you will be, uh, not be a team member. So, therefore, uh, when become defensive and criticize defensiveness listens a person's ability to constructively uh, constructively use the information is there. Now, now you see the when the person becomes defensive he becomes the careful and in the, when the person becomes careful uh, it, 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 it is affecting his ability because then the whatever the suppose like simple example he he wants to take certain risk uh, so that the project can be complete in time. He will not be able to do that particular project. So, therefore, uh, uh, what is the response type of the feedbacks is uh, required uh, so that uh, then again there is a question of R and R. 
that is whether do you react or do you respond. So, therefore, in the case of the whenever there is a feedback is there that is a, you have to respond to that particular feedback. People do not know uh, they are being li listened to unless you make some type of the response is there. Uh, a simple example is the nodding of head is there or the verbally confirmation is there or the written confirmation is there. So, then the people understand that what has been told that has been raised to you. This can be simple eye contact also and non-verbal responsiveness such as smiles, nods and eye contact that can be also possible. However, when we coach or consult someone, we must also select carefully from a report here for verbal response alternatives which clarify the communication as well as strengthen the interpersonal relationship is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, whenever uh, it is the you are supposed to respond, uh, then you can use uh, the advising, deflecting, probing and the reflecting and therefore, in that case uh, that is the uh, responses uh, that can be articulated and designed. So, when you are having this articulation and designing of this uh, the appropriate uh, response, for example, the advising is concerned. So, whenever there is a need of the advising, uh, then definitely uh, uh, we have taken the example. Uh, that is in the case of the helpful and in the case of the helpful we have advised that is whether I can uh, helpful to you or how you can use the your resources. So, therefore, here you will find that is the uh, this type of these uh, responses they will be taken very positively. Uh, in advising and uh, in the case of the deflecting is there then th that will be creating the more uh, on these uh, communication uh, which we, which will be not having the direct approach and therefore, in that case uh, whenever the, the, the response is uh, uh, from given by the leader to the team members right uh, then they, they, that might be the deviating and therefore, that may be away from the original problem or the original statement is there. So, it is very necessary. Uh, as we have taken in the six elements uh, of this uh, feedback that is uh, uh, about the direct. So, uh, we should avoid the deflating and we should be very much direct. So, that the person to whom we are giving that particular response, uh, he is able to connect uh, with his activities. And if this type of this uh, uh, direct uh, is uh, response is uh, given in spite of this uh, deflecting, then definitely uh, the members uh, they will be having the more and more uh, the positive uh, approaches are there. Now, when uh, uh, we may substitute our own experience for that of the other person, uh, something similar that happened to me or introduce an entirely new topic that reminds me of the time. So, then, then in that case, you, know, you are making the deflection is there. Now, probing response ask a question about what the other person just said or about the problem he or she has shared. So, the intent of a probe is to acquire additional information. Uh, to help the other person say more about the topic is there what he has uh, just uh, said to help you become more empathetic with the more insight or to help you develop more appropriate responses are there and many times the people probe so that they by probing and they get the more detail about that particular point which the speaker was talking about. So, that is the elaboration is there uh, clarification uh, or the repetition or the reflection will be there is there. Now, in the case of this reflecting is concerned, the primary purpose of the reflecting response is to mirror back to the communicator uh, the message you heard and to communicate understanding and an acceptance of the person is there. And therefore, in that case, uh, uh, message is uh, ref in reflecting basically the message may be the different words allows the speakers because uh, then he is, uh, he is talking or responding in his own term to listen to understand and free to explore the topic in more depth is there. So, we should keep the following rules in mind when using the reflective responses, avoid express agreement um, or disagreement with the statements, avoid repeating the same response, avoid mimicking the communication word, respond to express feeling before responding and respond with the empathy and acceptance is concerned. So, this will be the direct response uh, that is, and the non direct response is there generally useful when the, uh, 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 the when the counseling is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, you are taking care of uh, uh, the person to whom you are giving the uh, this particular response right. So, always it is directed to the non direct responses or the close to open responses is there it is always preferred it is there has to be the open responses as compared to the closed responses concerns. So, uh, as usual these are the research papers. Uh, and the books uh, we will be talking about the effects of the goal setting and feedback on manufacturing productivity, a field experiment is there.
Um, you can go through this research paper. Similarly, this is the case study, the riverbank case study is there and therefore, in that case uh, that is uh, during the training program how this type of this uh, uh, communication process and the feedback process has been uh, um, used and therefore, uh, whenever there is a feedback process is there, how, how it can be the positive or negative that you can see by reading this particular case study. This is the book recommendations, feedback skills for the leaders is there and building the constructive communication skills up and down the ladder is there. So, that is about you will understand that is how we can provide the constructive feedback. These are the references for the study material and for your future references. Thank you.